first of all, uh, Mr. Chairman, there have been reports of some friction between you and the Romney campaign over delegate selection. Had there been, has that all been resolved? No, we really didn't have any. There was a natural discussion back and forth, but uh, no real friction at all. Uh, it worked out very well. And there were elected delegates and the ones that, that were selected by the uh, state committee uh, and uh, adjustments are made afterwards as there are vacancies and it all works out and it's all a natural back and forth okay. process. There's been a lot of focus on the platform after it was approved by the party last week. A lot of socially conservative positions that may not play well in New York State. Any concern about that impacting the ticket or down ticket races in New York? Look, uh, that is the platform of the party. Uh, but in the end, uh, Governor Romney is going to campaign on the issues that he thinks are most important to the American people. And those are the economic, the fiscal, the job issues. And that's what he and Paul Ryan, that's why he selected Paul Ryan as his vice presidential candidate. This, is, this, uh, this chairman of the House Budget Committee is the most knowledgeable uh, individual in the United States about the budget. And budgetary issues are very important, but also about entitlement programs and about pro-growth programs. Uh, and, and that's what the next president of the United States has solved because Barack Obama has ignored those issues completely at a time when they needed to be solved. They should have been solved three years ago. But he didn't solve them because he wanted to be the transformational president to transform the United States into something more like Europe, more government driven. And it just put a big damper on the economy. And the American people in electing a Republican House of Representatives in the biggest change in the House of Representatives since the, since the 19, 1920s. Uh, when we got 241 seats, we're saying to the President of the United States, you're not going in the right direction. And uh, that's why we're going to have a Republican president, too, to get this country going in, in the right direction. If so many re top Republicans walk away from the platform or, or at least say that that's just a position, that's not where I stand, what's the point of having that platform and what are voters to think since that is the, the, the position of the party? Andrew, there's no way you're going to get every Republican in the country to agree that this is the platform. The platform is a number of compromise and things involved, and people are going to still have their own individual opinions, and depending upon the state or the locality, they'll have the policies that they think are right for that state or for that locality. And, uh, and uh, President, Obama, uh, President Romney is going to have the policies that he thinks addresses and solves the problems that the country is confronted with, and that's the economic issues, the job issues Americans need. We have eight more than 8% unemployment for the last three years. Uh, we have unemployment and underemployment at 15% or more. Uh, that's not good for the United States, it's not good for the world. And, and Mitt Romney understands that. And when he talks about the need for economic strength in the United States, he also understands that impacts the United States as a leader in the world. Without the leadership of the United States and the world, the world is going to have many more problems than it has now. He understands that uh, much better than, uh, than Barack Obama does. And, and that's what this convention is about, nominating him and then doing the political work to make sure he's elected the next president of the United States. Every New York poll shows President Obama with a double-digit lead, shows Kirsten Gillibrand with a double-digit lead over Wendy Long. How does that impact down-ticket races, and how does the party overcome that in, in its improving its uh, outcome in down-ticket races? Well, we did it once before, in 1980, uh, when uh, uh, candidate Reagan, Governor Reagan of California, was way behind in the polls in New York State. And in the end, as the challenger, he beat uh, President Jimmy Carter. And we also, at the same time, for the uh, last time that we did it, we elected a uh, challenger into the United States Senate, Alphonse D'Amato won the senator, the U.S. Senate seat uh, from New York. I think we can do it again this time. So all you need now are Reagan and D'Amato on the ticket and you're all set? No, no, <laughs> we have the ticket that we need uh, that, that addresses the problems of this era. The problems of that era were inflation uh, and, uh, and interest rates that were at 20 percent with inflation at 13 percent and the huge impact that had on, on, on a lot of different parts of the economy. Unemployment was rising rapidly. Well, we had the same problem with unemployment, but now we got the problem of deflation, which is more fiscal issues that the President of the United States has to address. Uh, and uh, different problems, but the, the solution is the same, and that's to have Republican government in Washington. We've had Democratic government 
for the uh, last uh, three years plus. They haven't been able to do it. It's our turn. Let us do it.